Hi everybody, this is John with The Gaming Corner. And today, well, let me back up. I wanted to do a certain video today, and I was planning on doing a different video today. But yesterday, Valve announced the Steam Deck. So, what is this thing? It is a handheld, basically a handheld PC that runs Steam OS. You can also run Windows, you can run Linux, you can run whatever operating system you really want to. It's basically a portable gaming PC. And uh, so immediately there is tons of YouTubers and tons of influencers out there that had to give their two cents and praising it for its cheap price tag and all the things it can do. And my immediate thought when I read the press release and everything was, wow, this seems really awesome. But I decided to take some time and think about it, sleep on it, wake up this morning and see what my thoughts were. And I'm not as enthusiastic as I once was less than 24 hours ago. So the point of this video is I want to go over what this thing is, what it can do. And, you know, this isn't the first time that Valve has released hardware. Um, I still have this thing, which was terrible in my opinion, the Steam controller. Um, why they didn't decide to put two thumb pads, I don't know, this thing was just a disaster. I dug it out of the archives here and, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it still has battery power, pretty amazing. Um, but there's that, and um, yeah, there was this too, the Steam Link, and uh, the controller just turned off. Um, the Steam Link. Yeah, I think I got this. Well, this is the box. I don't know where the rest of it actually is. Um, but yeah, I think I got this for $10 on a Steam sale. That's how bad this thing sold. Um, and the Valve Index. I, I got one of those in the other room. Uh, that came out over two years ago now, and there's no hint at all on a version two of that. So... Do you really want to plunk down 400 bucks for an entry-level model of this thing? Well, we're going to talk about that right after the break. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, we're back. So, I have my, uh, my tablet here, my iPad, to help me out with this next section. I wanted to kind of go over what this thing is. So if you go to steam.storepower.com on any browser, you're going to come up to this page here and uh, you can click on Steam Deck and you can see what this thing really is. And it's a handheld um, PC, basically. Um, it's got some controls that you would expect to have on a gaming machine. And uh, it's built by Valve. So all right, all good, right? Sounds great. Um, there's three different SKUs for this. So there's a entry-level 64 gig model, which is an eMMC hard drive, which is a slower type. It's kind of your normal SSD that you would buy at Best Buy or something that you would put in your computer. Um, so that one goes for $399. Uh, then there's a 256 gig NVMe uh, SSD that goes for $529 and a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD and that goes for $649. Okay, $649, that's kind of a lot. Also along with that, you get a premium anti-glare etched glass screen, an exclusive carrying case, exclusive Steam Community Profile Bundle, and an excuse, exclusive virtual keyboard theme. Okay, so Reservations start July 16th, that's today, at 10 a.m. Pacific time, that's 1 p.m. Eastern time. And do I intend on reserving this? Well, for five bucks, you can reserve it. So yeah, I'm gonna reserve it. Am I gonna buy it? We'll get to that. All right, so uh, what is in this thing? Well, this is basically the same type of architecture that's in the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. This is an AMD APU, it's the Zen 2 architecture plus the RDNA 2 uh, graphics all encompassed on this APU. And so, but 
as opposed to the Xbox Series X, which has 52 cores and all sorts of wild goodness going on, this only has eight. So it's a slimmed down model of the same thing. Now, basically, you probably cannot get <laughs> much bigger than that in the small form factor that they're trying to go for here. Uh, otherwise, you need more cooling, you need a lot more space to, to cool the chip down, things like that. So you can almost understand where they're going with it. Um, the display is also, you know, not going to be HD. It's going to be a basically an 800p, I think it's 1280 by 800 or something is the max resolution you're going to get, uh, which is perfectly fine because it's a seven inch touch screen that you're going to get on the device. Um, so, you know, that's a fine resolution, um, but that brings up its own problems and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but, you know, it looks like the thumbsticks will be good. It looks like they're doing everything right as far as I.O. There's going to be a USB-C port on there. You're going to be able to get an, run an 8K display off of that. So it almost looks, seems like Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 4 to me, uh, giving you that much bandwidth to be able to run an 8K display. Um, also, they're going to have a dock that's going to come out with it. Depending on the price on that though, you may want to skip on that because it'll take any USB type C hub that you can buy. Um, like I said, this is basically a PC and even Valve has said, you know, you can put whatever hub you want. Um, basically it'll work. So no big deal. Um, so what else? Let's go into some deeper. Well, I'm not going to go into too much on the specs on it because you guys can look all that up and look at other videos and stuff that YouTubers have done. Now, a lot of people have said, hey, this thing is cheap. It's a great deal. Um, and, and yeah, it's not bad. I mean, $399. Let's look at $399. For $299, you can get an Xbox Series S, which is over twice as powerful as this thing is. It's got more memory because this only has 64 gigs of storage. That gives you 512 gigs of storage, although not all of that's usable and not all of this 64 gigs is going to be usable either. There's going to be operating system that's going to take up some of that. So basically, if you're going to get the cheapest model of this thing at $399, which is listed there on their site, um, if you're gonna get the 64 gigabyte model, you're gonna, it does have an SD card slot in it. So you can expand the storage, which I would assume everybody's gonna do. Uh, you can put a terabyte card in there and basically get as much storage as you're probably gonna need. 64 gigs isn't gonna do it for basically any AAA game because um, you're probably gonna get somewhere around 55 gigs maybe or, or a little bit less of usable storage space for your games. Um, if you put one AAA title on there, that's all you're going to get, if you can even get it on there. So you're going to need the expansion. Now, is it worth stepping up um, $130 to get the 256 gig NVMe version? I don't think so, unless you really want those fast startup times and things like that. Um, so I don't think any of the other SKUs really matter. I mean, for $650, if you think about that, you could get an Xbox Series X with two years of Game Pass Premium or Ultimate, and it's still cheaper than the $650 that you're gonna pay for one of these things, and that doesn't include any games. Now, you know, I, I started looking at this originally, and I was, you know, as soon as it was released, I said, man, this thing's gonna be awesome. This is gonna be a great device. And as I started thinking about it, and I'm like, this is 2021. Um, if you look at the display on that, it's got some big bezels on it too. Um, it's 2021, guys. I mean, I think that the Xbox Series X, if Microsoft knows what they're doing and they seem to with this Game Pass Ultimate and the game streaming, uh, I think this is probably the last Xbox that's gonna have all these crazy architecture in it and everything. The next Xbox, to me, should be a streaming box. Should be something that's a lot cheaper. You'll be able to go to the store and buy for 50 or 100 bucks and plug into your TV and you get streaming Xbox games at 4K or 8K by then and be able to stream it right into your home. I don't think the infrastructure is there to support that yet, so that's why we haven't seen it. But why doesn't Valve embrace that now? They could have a hit on their hands. They've already got Steam. 
that infrastructure is already there. Why don't they just sp spend the time and build upon that and go from there? That's what I would think would be the way to go forward with that. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. But, um, so am I gonna pre-order it? Yeah, I will. Do I think it's worth it? No, I really don't. Um, I think it's gonna be awesome. But also, one more thing I wanted to say too is that AAA games on a small seven inch screen, like just with Xbox Game Pass streaming on my phone, and I have a pretty decent sized phone. I have a Galaxy Z Fold 2, which when you unfold it, you get a pretty nice sized screen for a cell phone. And even games on there that are kind of like PC games or even Xbox games on that small screen, it's hard to see the details. It's hard to see everything on the display. And on this, you're playing actual PC games, not designed for console, but designed for PC gaming. And those even less so are gonna have that kind of form factor that's gonna relate well to a small screen. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, I'm skeptical. I don't know if this is the way to go um, for Valve. I think this is gonna be a once and done device. I. You know, they even said in their in their kind of interviews that they expect this to be something that's going to be used um, by other manufacturers. They can get the Steam OS basically for free, and they can make their own hardware. So, it doesn't look like Valve is in it for the long haul. I don't know. Maybe they are, but I see this as probably not a huge seller, in my opinion. Uh, I think the price isn't right. I think if it was 100 or 150 dollars cheaper for each SKU. Maybe they got something on their hands here that, that they could sell. I just don't know. So maybe we'll know more. Maybe I'm way off. Let me know in the comment section. We're going to come back and conclude all this in just a minute. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Okay. Hi, everybody, and welcome back. So just to wrap all this up, what I said, I know it was a rant. I know it might have been like all over the place. Um, but I really am thinking that Valve is missing a golden opportunity here to release something that is different, that hasn't really been done. And I don't think they're doing that with this. Um, I think cloud gaming is the future. I think Microsoft has proven that. Uh, I think Sony is a little bit behind there. I think they're gonna try to catch up in that, in that realm as well. And I think Valve would do, do well to try to embrace that and bring that to the masses. This could be a way to do it in a handheld way. Um, but I really don't know if PC gaming is really a great move on a handheld device. I just am not sure that it sounds cool, but I just don't know if that's the way to go. So anyway, leave your thoughts and comments. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna disagree with me and that's fine. That's why we're all here talking about it. Um, but of course, all the early uh, YouTubers and stuff that are just throwing praise at it and the specs are great and this and that and the other thing, well, they are, don't get me wrong. I'm sure it's gonna be a great device. I just don't see the point, really. Um, yeah, I, I just don't get it. Uh, so anyway, with all that, if you liked the video, please like, it does help a lot. And subscribe if you would, that would be great too. So. You know, like I said, leave me your thoughts. It's gonna be a polarized discussion, I'm sure. Uh, but if you do enjoy the video, please like it. And we'll talk to you guys next time. This is John with The Gaming Corner on the Guitars and Tech channel. Take care, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you guys next time. Oh, and by the way, there'll be more on this coming up as we learn more, so. And I do intend on throwing my $5 towards it. See what happens. It's gonna be released in December, so we'll see what happens between now and then. Talk to you guys later. This is John. Take care. Bye-bye.